I wanted to try to do this video so you can show like shopping on a budget. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea and I am a fashion reseller and I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and Facebook Marketplace. And basically I teach you how to make money selling other people's junk. And today we have a part one to a two part series of Walmart versus the thrift store. I gave Lily a $100 um, to shop at Walmart and $100 to shop at consignment and thrift stores. And basically we wanna show you how far $100 gets you. Um, oh. <laughs> There's this backpack that we got, which made it a little over $100, which this is the, the most expensive thing we got, is this backpack. At Walmart, we were slightly over. We spent $104. Yeah. And then we got a Baby Yoda hat, which that, the Baby Yoda is print, and the uh, Precious Cargo part is embroidery. embroidery, which I love the hat. I've worn it a few times already because I couldn't help myself, and I love tie-dye too, so. And I did let yeah. her get the hat because her school does a lot of hat days, and her old hat was kind of seeing the best of it, so. And I also got some pairs of Justice a pair of Justice socks, which if you didn't know, Justice is almost out of business. It went out of business during COVID and now it's selling at Walmart to try and boost their business a little bit. And our Walmart has been slowly getting out the set. And so we bought some. And then this is the one other justice thing that I got was this. It's a crop top. And it says Trust the Universe. And it came with a little scrunchie. And her school doesn't allow crop tops, but I let her wear them to school with a tank top under them. And... We did get a lot of graphic tees, which the graphic tees came with, they came in sets of two. So if I got one SpongeBob thing, then it came with another one, so. Yeah, this is SpongeBob. This is my favorite one. Yeah, it's super cute. It has little SpongeBob all over it, and it's tie-dye, which I love tie-dye, so. It's really cute. Um. And we have tons of shorts because they all came in two packs and I wear back your shorts quite a bit. And so these, these are all just biker shorts. They were yeah. um, two pairs for three dollars. And we have these which are just plain black, which I do wear black and dark colors quite a bit. And I also have a gray pair which I wear gray quite a bit as well. So I have these. And they're all just a Walmart brand. They're just, except for the just this stuff we got. That is not Walmart brand. These are Pegasuses flying and it's like a tie-dye background biker shorts yeah i don't know if they can see that it's pegasus yeah they're yeah. kind of hard to see and then these are also tie-dye um i think these were left over from fourth of july and they just came with another pair and they were trying to get rid of them but i still wear them and then 
we have and here's the other Spongebob one Spongebob and Patrick on it they're high-fiving and it says Spongebob at the top a lot of these um graphic tees are the pictures of Nickelodeon characters like there's Rugrats which I'm going to show you here right here there's oh, and it says together is better in purple with all the Rugrats on it. I don't wear right white, but it came with another really cute Rugrats one, so I will definitely be wearing it. And then this one is a Disney character. It's Stitch, which this is Stitch Vibes, and it's like he has his own little account, and it says, my experience saw on planet Earth, and I thought it was really cute. And it has that all these different little experiences on it. And I'll show the other Rugrats one, which this one, oh, that was upside down. Oops. This one is purple. It's got Reptar. Mm -hmm. And it's cute. They're running away. And it says Rugrats at the top up here. And here's the other stitch one, which this one I, is really funny. This part always cracks me up in the movie because, you know, it's the part where he's, like, chasing his shadow and he's like, ah! Yeah. And so he's messing with his shadow. <laughs> and I love this color. Like, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> yeah, your Nike shirt is the same color. Yep. I have a lot of that color in my closet. And then we have more little shorts. Little shorts. These are just a plain purple, which I do wear purple quite a bit, too. And just plain purple. And these have little daisies on them. I'll show them up close here. Just need to find one that isn't upside down. All, almost all of them are upside down. And then because I had to. I had to get these tie-dye bibs, which they're super cute. I feel like they're coming a little bright on the camera, but they're more they're pastel. Like, yeah, they're pastel tie-dye. But the pink up here looks way brighter on camera than what it is in real life. And then to go with this, which this is the only thing I'm gonna show you as an outfit because It'd be weird to just buy a plain pink shirt. So, we got this to match with the overalls. It's just a cute little pink shirt. And the bibs are, might be one of my favorites, but the hat is definitely my favorite. These are my second favorite. And I love tie dye and I love bibs. I wear bibs a lot. Is that everything? Uh, yep. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen items, which is kind of an array because of the socks and the hat. And then we got a backpack, which the for $104, which the backpack was the most expensive thing we got, which it was only. I think it was like $24. I think it was $29. No, $24. Oh, it was $24.98. So this was the most expensive thing that we got. 
I wanted to try to do this video so you can show like shopping on a budget. We'll do our second part to this video and we'll show you.